everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. How are you doing? We love it. Wasn't that nice? Yes. Reed got us all excited with this spooky story. Okay. First off, you grab our attention right out of the gate with your voice, your, the way you stand. You're such a great speaker. You held our attention with the descriptions of the fog. You can carve a smiley face in it. You had our attention with the story. As we go on and you describe, no one can get up there. And, and that's what we were looking for, descriptive words that we could literally picture that meat grinding <laughs> accident. Like, the whole <laughs> you got us there so now the woman doesn't have an arm so we're there now I was sitting there waiting I was hoping that you would be more into it you were telling the story and you're so good at descriptive and everything but I felt like you weren't in the story as much as I was hoping for Yes, the rhythm and the tempo, I think, in the description, rhythm and tempo is what I was looking for. A little bit more, you know, just body. Your body didn't show it. Your voice did. And I was looking for more like that. I was waiting for some voice variety, and bam! There it was. <laughs> <laughs> with the digging. <laughs> with dig my husband has that problem all the time. <laughs> with digging up the golden arm. You brought us back with the description of how, with the, with the, you did got your body into it there, and your voice variety. You were you were there with all that. I loved it. I did feel that it was too short, as Effie has heard <laughs> that. Also, an abrupt ending. It was just, I thought, oh, I was waiting for more. Weren't we all waiting for more? And just a little bit more tidbit would, would have been nice. Even though I am feeble, I will always be excited to listen to you speak with your great humor. You're just a wonderful speaker. And we've been through this trek for a long time, so thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Very nice job.